Go for it. Hey, well, it's a beautiful day at Carver's Field here, folks. Pan out over that field. Look at this. Oh, still looking good. Had a day off. Students finally just went home. We just finished up with a whole group of them. Had a great time. Love these guys. Had so many good students, and uh, we had a great last two weeks of training. And uh, by the time they left, they were doing touch and goes. One guy, Arlie Weaver. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? He must have made 20-some flights while he was here. And he did so many touch and goes. It was up, down, up. Guy's flying like a pro. He's coming in, baby soft, skimming the grass. We had a great group of people in here last two weeks. I finally got a moment where I can just have a nice leisurely flight by myself. So I'm going to go. I'm going to take up the e-bike. If you haven't seen this, guys, I'm so excited about this. We have been tooling this thing around town. And uh, the looks that it gets are bizarre to say the least man people cannot figure out what they're looking at uh, i think they see the prop because every time they come up they go does that thing fly and i say yes it does and uh we are just really excited about it. if you haven't seen the other video look for it the uh, the first flying e-bike and this is it we are the first to have it it is the fly pod e-bike it has a lithium ion battery a thousand watt motor and 47 volt system a five speed regulator on it it has a cruising speed of about 25 miles an hour, between 20 and 25 miles an hour. And it has a range so far, I personally, I don't just go by what they say, I wanted to know what it did. So I drove it around town and I also drove it to church one day. I went 21 to 25 miles already and I still had one bar left on my, on my, uh, on my charging system. It doesn't take long to charge. If you order a Monster with the electric start, there's a way you can tie it right into there to charge the battery while you're flying. Can you imagine the possibilities of this? Now after you land, you can go get supplies in town, you can set up a camp, you can carry all sorts of stuff on here if you want because with this motor, you're going up, brother. This is our big 313cc Fresh Breeze Monster motor with a four-bladed prop, and uh, you're going up with that. There's, uh, we got one guy that's 500 pounds and he flies it, six foot five, 500 pounds if you've seen Polly. But man, now I can get around town, I can pull it out if you're a guy that has a field close by, you don't have to trailer it up. You don't have to unpack it or pack it. You can drive to that field with a 25-mile range. Are you kidding me? You can land somewhere. You can do cr uh, cross-country, a real cross-country. You can keep going, land, drive to a gas station, get a bite to eat, take off again, or camp out for the night or whatever you can do. We are really excited. So right now, I was out of gas, and I thought, you know what? Instead of going up and taking the car to get it, I'll just drive up there and get my fuel and you can like I you can modify anything you want in here to hang bags on it. We've got uh, we've got some other things that are coming, some accessories that will allow a lot of storage. But people are already coming up with their own ideas on what they would do and some of the suggestions. Um, I just keep stuff that I need in little bags, and if I want, I can carry my wing on the back of this. Um, it straps right on. I can strap it onto my bars and let it hang in the back. And then when I'm not, I can stow it. And so I'm just gonna ride it to the gas station, get some gas. And uh, I'll be back to see you here. Here we go. tools in there whatever I want and since it is two stroke I'll put my oil in first and then I'll put my fuel in that's really something else I can't even believe how fun it is to ride this thing down the road very smooth accelerates quick and it definitely gets the looks right
that's it. We're fueled up. We're ready to go flying. I'm taking her back to the field. We're going to go flying again. If I was doing a cross country, I could just keep going across country. I could fuel up whenever I needed it, camp out for the night, do whatever I'm going to do. I'm driving back to my field. It's about a mile away. And then I'm going to take off and do some flying. Look forward to seeing you. Just set our gauge here. And here we go. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you at the field. Boy, that scoots along real good. That scoots along good, and I'm over 200 pounds. This thing handles great down the road. Well, it is just turning out to be a perfect night. We went up and got some fuel. And as soon as I'm done combing this baby out, you're going to see flying e-bike in action. I tell you what, I've been having a ball with it. But I love driving it around town. It is so fun. And everybody is gawking at this thing. Let's see if this is a fresh breeze. First pole, come on.
love it. Let's see my lay down. Boom, there it is. Holy cow, that handle's great up there. This is like a beautiful night. The sun's getting ready to go down, and if I didn't have other plans, man, I tell you what, I would have just stayed up there. I would have loved to do a cross country, but I wanted to make this video with you and show you what we got going here with the first flying e-bike. Check out the other video. It's awesome. It's got some good street shots in it, but we've been having a ball with it all week, driving it around the streets, up and down different streets, testing its longevity, and just it just drives like a dream, handles like a dream, and uh, flies like a dream. So this is the true cross-country vehicle. It's never been done before. You can fly, land, fill up, run into town, keep on going, and uh, boy, I just the, the possibilities are just limitless. If you have a, if you have to fly, drive to your field now and pack up. If your field's within 25 miles, you can make it there on a single charge. But uh, it's awesome. We just love what it's doing, and uh, we're very excited about it. So looking forward to seeing what's coming out. Uh, we've got some things coming up where we're going to showcase this. But right now, these last two videos are just kind of little sneak previews, so you can see about the flying e-bike from FlyPod. Thanks for joining me. I'm Captain Kurt.